So I don't put know. Put you on the spot, Sam, man. Do you think Jay Z sold out? But before you answer that, because we put a few videos up and people seem to think that we backtracking off of Jay Z, you know, because I think they kind of think that we said that he sold out, even though we were just asking a question. Yeah. You know, I mean, with the video. Yeah. Do you think that he sold out simply because you just said that just, you know, a few months ago, he was riding hard telling people not to deal with the NFL because the way they treated Colin Kaepernick. What are your thoughts now? I'm going to answer this directly, but let me start by saying this. Jay-Z is a billionaire. Did he sell out? Sell out to who? Do I, did, did he sell okay. the people out? Oh, go ahead. He didn't, did he sell the people off in the NFL? No. I don't think that he sold the people out. Did he do Jermaine Dupree dirty? <laughs> Hell yeah. That was a dirty move, no matter how you look at it. You can't go and tell somebody and go public with it. Don't do a deal because of X, Y, and Z. And then months later, you slide in and do the deal <laughs> and totally negate X, Y, and Z. That's just saying cool. Do I think that he sold out by doing this with the NFL? No, because Jay-Z's been Jay who Jay-Z's been for the last two decades, three decades, mm -hmm. and that's never going to change. He's a businessman. He's a capitalist. Um, some people have morale when it comes to being a businessman and being a capitalist. Some people will do whatever they have to do to go get their bread. Jay-Z has shown you he will do whatever he has to do mm -hmm. to go get his bread. Jay-Z's allegiance isn't to black people as a whole. Jay-Z's allegiance is his, in his mind is to his wife and his children and his circle. Right. So as a businessman, you can got to get out your feelings and go, oh, wow, that's my favorite rapper. Oh, wow, that's no, no, no. He sold us up. Now, fuck that. Listen, he's a businessman. He did what he did and was right for his business. And you got to understand it, too. He shouldn't have sold. Told out to who? I want to continue this conversation. I want to, you know, two more segments. I want to talk about Diddy. We ain't talked about this, but um, you can remember last year, Diddy was talking about buying, you know, a team. And then pretty much he came out and said, look, I'm not, you know, interested because of the way they're treating black players now um the thing i could say and i want to hear your opinion on this the difference between jay-z and diddy in this situation they both you know got a lot of money they both influential and obviously diddy had enough money to buy it but <clears throat> it seems like diddy was pro kaepernick he was with kaepernick 100 he brought he said i'm gonna bring kaepernick back if i you know if i get the panthers jay-z almost simply had to disassociate himself Kind of from Kaepernick saying, look, I can't get him here. I'm not his boss and whatnot. And you never was about this and that. And, you know, so what do you think about that dynamic? Diddy pretty much with Colin Kaepernick, Jay-Z disassociating himself from Colin Kaepernick to try to get into the NFL. Does that say something to you? Um, It, it, it doesn't. It doesn't. Because I don't necessarily agree with even with Diddy's premise on the fact that he thinks that because of the treatment of Colin Kaepernick, he can't be in a league. No, because of the treatment of Colin Kaepernick, you have to be in a league. I think Jay-Z and someone like that, we were waiting for. Mm -hmm. uh, when, when is a billionaire going to put his name in a hat, a black billionaire or somebody to go own an NFL team? We applaud that. There's nothing wrong with that. But it's unfortunate we had to hear that right off the heels of this new social justice halftime show him sitting hand in hand with Garage or Goodell and everything kind of going, whoa, this is very hypocritical to what you were saying just months ago and what you fought against. And now you're in here almost going against the grain completely against that. Oh, yeah. Now you're going to own an NFL team. It's like, damn, Jay-Z, what you have to do to go ahead and get your name in that hat? Mm -hmm. Did you have to disassociate? Did you have to do this? I, like, And that's what the, the feeling I know from the real people that I talk to, the people that still support and, and, and want to see this work, just aren't drawing lines in the sand. That's their question. Right. Why why go that route? Is that what you had to do to, in order to own now? My thing, my, my my question to Diddy would be, and this is what I would love to hear him say if this right. were the truth. Right. Nah, they were trying to have me do some shady shit to even get involved in that. Let me let me read what he said. Okay. He said, I was um I was at one of the last two bids for the Panthers. He said during the interview with Big Boy TV, I really wanted to go in there and be a part of the NFL and try to be a positive change. He says, I don't even want to own the NFL team no more. I don't want to be associated with no oppression black men. I don't want to be associated with telling grown men what they can and cannot do. Now, um, Diddy also went on to address the Star Spangled Banner, um, which was the controversy. He said, if players do nil, they'll be subjected to fines. The new rule, you know what I mean, that the NFL, you know what I mean, put, put in place, you know, as a result of Colin Kaepernick, you know, not doing it. So pretty much Diddy is just pretty much saying he didn't even want to, you know, um, get involved, period, because he's seen that conti they're continuing to oppress black men. Now, I'm going to ask you, Sam, man, do you think that the NFL is oppressing black men? 
Um, no. Okay. I don't think that they're oppressing black men because I finally understand and I'm starting to see that black men understand they have all the power in their hands, not the opposite. It's happening right. with the NBA, now starting to happen with the NFL. Because he was going on with Ezekiel Elliott, she was going on with my man Trent Williams out in DC, um, another other a number of other players. If you don't pay me what I'm worth, I ain't getting on your field. I ain't putting on your jersey. I'm not playing for your fucking team. I don't care your fantasy. I don't care about your fans, nothing. Mm -hmm. I am the show. Pay me like it. I love it. And I think that once the athletes begins to start doing that, they take the power out of the owner's hands. Now, this could be a great relationship. Yes, the owner owns the team. The owner does not own you. Um, it's hard to think like that because I can even remember back in my job and I could go and get a paycheck and, I, and, and write above my name. Real bright and bold with that company's name reminding mm -hmm. me, I gave you this. I could take this away from you. So in a certain level, they do own you, but you just have to understand the game that you walk into. Look, you play, you played your whole life and risked a lot of life limb and, and uh, years on your life to do this to feed your family. Play the business the right way and take as much ownership as you can. They don't own you unless you allow them to. And I think what's sad about this situation here, because you asked me the other day, it was like, do you think the NFL – is obligated, you know what I mean, to do anything. And I pretty much said no, but I kind of want to change my answer, mm -hmm. you know, a little bit because I think that, and what's a shame here is that more players didn't, you know, step up beside Kaepernick, you know what I mean? Because I think if they did, they would have actually stepped up and tried to address it. For one, I think that even if one, you know, who is black and they're in your league, because you got to remember the NFL primarily is getting these people, even though they get them from the colleges, they're getting people from these inner cities yep. that are affected by all this stuff that's going on with police brutality and their families and everything like that. So if even one player, one player in your organization has a problem with that, I think that the company should, should respond favorably and say, okay, this is how we feel about it. But the NFL, they did respond pretty much. Yep. And they said, look, nigga, you out the league. You keep doing it. Now we got a new policy that says if people do it, now you can be fine. So the NFL pretty much drew the line in the sand and said, look, we don't give a damn about people being killed by the police. We don't care how this country's running, man. This is a private business. That's what they said with the statement and how they're treating Colin Kaepernick and Eric Reed, period. You see something, a conversation going around in the mainstream sports outlets and things like that in regards to Colin Kaepernick stating that, um, in fact, he isn't blackballed. He had numerous opportunities, and he basically shit on those opportunities. He had an opportunity in Baltimore. He had conversations saying that he wouldn't stop kneeling. They thought he'd be a distraction. No, 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 excuse me. Um, his his girlfriend put something up uh, with Ray Lewis and the owner of the, of the Ravens in comparison to Samuel Jackson, Leonardo DiCaprio, and Django, basically calling Ray Lewis a coon. They didn't like that, so they got him out of there. His girlfriend, so they got him out of there. He had something out in Miami where they asked him, uh, will he continue to kneel? He said, yeah. They got him out of there. Then they right. um Denver, same situation. Look, man, you could play, but we can't do this. So they're telling him, they're giving him ultimatum. Right. Who just brought the brother in to try out? Eagles. They just brought in McCown, I think I seen. And he's a I ain't, I ain't gonna say he's a bum, but he's 40 years old. He was coaching the high school team. He was retired. Yeah, that's crazy. And they brought him <laughs> in before they even thought about Kaepernick. I'm sure they didn't ask him if he was going. They knew, you know what I mean? Good old boy, perfect. They don't even know if he's in like if he can, you know, and is gonna be in shape. No. I was listening to the interview, so it's just like, I don't know, man. We, we see it clearly what it is with the NFL. It's a black ball situation, and by them doing that, they're pretty much spreading the message that if any one of you niggas think that you're going to protest on our field that we own, mm -hmm. we're going to crack the fucking whip on your back, period. Yep. And they see it. That's they, the message. Cracking the proverbial whip <laughs> on Colin Kaepernick. <laughs> and, they, I mean, they paid him off, and I still, I still want to hear – and a lot, a lot of people do, and this is criticism that is warranted on Colin Kaepernick's behalf because it seemed like even though after he got that check, brother got quiet, tweeting and shit. That's it. Yeah. That ain't enough, brother. Yeah, maybe we'd definitely like to hear a statement from Colin Kaepernick, but um, you know, don't look like that's going to happen, though, Sam. No, nah, he's chilling. He's good doing what he's doing. He's still in shape. He does deserve a job, but I think that he doesn't – Um, he deserves some criticism in this, too. Um, but he also deserves uh, a lot of credit. He's a martyr. He is our generation's Muhammad Ali, our generation's athlete that stood up for social injustice and got ridiculed for it, and he'll go down in the history books for it. So facts, facts. He deserves that. Definitely, man. But yeah, man, that's a you know enough of Jay Z, I guess. For the oh day, my god, man. we thought Woo! it was enough with him last week, man. Yeah. But People keep talking about it. It's, it. We'll keep talking about it. As long as yeah. there's coverage to talk about, we're going to do the due diligence over here at the Hip Hop and Sense of Podcast. As much as personally, when we get off the mic, 
we don't want to talk about it. My mom asked me, what do you think about the Jay-Z? I'm like, mom, listen, you got to right. go, go to the podcast. Man. Right. I don't even talk about this nonsense. We talk about it enough. Well, my dad definitely called him a sellout, yeah. Jay-Z. But, um, yeah, that's crazy. <laughs> I get that when I'm playing. Fuck that yeah, name. yeah. I mean, you know, everybody got their little, you know, things like that that mm-hmm. they like to say. But, um, damn, I was going to ask you something about the NFL again, but it's all good, though. I can't remember that damn question right now. We'll get to it, though. Yeah, write it down for tomorrow, man. We see, and that's the good thing about the podcast. We're only here four days a week. We only skip, what, three days, and we're about to give you another one during the weekend, man. So anytime you guys want to hear something on the podcast, if we miss something, let us know in the comment section, whether you're listening or watching. We got comment sections everywhere, and we listen to them when we watch them. Let us know. Yes, sir. Remember, yeah, man, another episode approaching the 40-minute mark, man, real dope program today. If you enjoyed the program thus far, hopefully you stayed throughout the duration of the program. Please go ahead and not forget to hit that rating. I will be remiss if I didn't ask you to do that. Also, you can subscribe here on the audio version. Hit that subscribe button, family, to make sure you can get those alerts bright and early in the morning when we drop those podcasts for days a week, man. But uh, yeah, that's pretty much all I got here on this side of the table. Another episode 213, man. We catching them, boy. We working, man. We we doing in in months what y'all doing in years, man. And we just going to continually, humbly keep whipping y'all ass, man. This is what we do. Shout out to my wife, man. Happy birthday. I love you. About to go out and do my thing with the family right now. About to get back in here tomorrow and kick y'all ass with another great episode. My brother, Oh God, Hip Hop News Uncensored, myself, Sam, and Viral Hip Hop News, episode 213 of the books. We'll see you tomorrow.